Hello everyone, I'm Matthew Orlinchi from 91. Today I'll be conducting an experiment on making two natural indicators. For this experiment, I'll be making an apple skin extract and a red cabbage extract. Then I'll compare their abilities to show acidic and alkaline nature of solutions. Before I conduct the experiment, I'm going to give an explanation on why and how apple skins and red cabbages are natural indicators. As we know, pH indicators allow us to identify the pH values of solutions visually as they change colors from acidic solutions, neutral solutions, and alkaline solutions. So why is it that apple skins and red cabbages can be used as pH indicators? It is because they both contain a pigment, which we all know is the natural coloring matter of animals or plant tissues. This pigment is called anthocyanin, which is soluble in water, and is found in red cabbages and apple skins. Although different anthocyanin molecules found in different natural indicators change colors differently in different pH levels, most anthocyanins turn red or orange in acidic solutions, purplish blue in neutral solutions, and greenish yellow in alkaline solutions. Here are the pH scales for the apple skin extract and red cabbage extract. I'll be using this later to identify the pH values of solutions based on the natural indicator. Note that I'll be leaving my sources in the description below of this video. Now that we know that, let's get right into the experiment. Here are the materials I'll be using. A transparent plastic cups, a red cabbage, an apple, a cutting board, a knife, teaspoons, a kettle, a kitchen sieve, and metal containers. For the six solutions, I'll be using lemon juice, orange juice, baking soda, vinegar, laundry bleach, and dishwashing liquid. Step 1. As you can see here, I'm peeling the apple skin and cutting the red cabbage into small pieces with a kitchen knife and a cutting board. While I'm cutting and peeling, let me tell you a fun fact. Not only does the pigment anthocyanin provide color, it also has been proven to be healthy to consume. It contains antioxidants and are anti-inflammatory. It helps boost the immune system, which is why anthocyanin-rich foods are often used in herbal medicines. Then, I added the apple skin and small pieces of red cabbages into water and boiled them with a metal container and an oven. Then, for step 3, I filtered the apple skin and red cabbage pieces out with a kitchen sieve and another metal container to obtain the apple skin extract and the red cabbage extract. Then, I poured the extracts to 6 of the plastic cups with a metal ladle. I then waited for the extracts to cool for about 20 minutes. For the sixth and final step, I added six of the products or the solutions into each of the six plastic cups containing the extracts. This is me adding the baking soda, the lemon juice, the orange juice, the vinegar, the laundry bleach, and finally the dishwashing liquid. After adding I stirred the mixtures with teaspoons. Here are clearer pictures of the results. Feel free to pause the video to get a better observation. Now, let's discuss and compare the two natural indicators. The first comparison, just by observing the results, we can already tell that the colors produced by the red cabbage extracts are more distinguishable than the apple skin extracts. Especially when I added the vinegar, lemon juice, and the orange juice. As you can see, based on the apple skin extract, they produce very similar orange colors while based on the red cabbage extract, you can easily tell that it's pink, dark red, and light purple. This may cause inaccurate pH values when reading them. Second, let's try to obtain the pH values based on the natural indicator color change scales, as you can see here. 
First, the apples can extract. Here are the pH values from left to right. For this washing liquid, the color turned dark red, and as you can see, it's not on the scale, and I cannot even estimate the pH value. Although this washing liquid is supposed to have around a neutral pH value. For the bleach, it turned white. Although white isn't in the scale, I can assume that as we go to the right of the scale, it will turn to lighter colors, so I'm assuming that this gives vinegar a pH value of 14 or more. So it's a very strong alkaline. For the vinegar, it produces a pinkish-orange color. Based on the scale, it has a pH value of 3 until 4, so it's acidic. For the orange juice, it produces an orange color, and based on the scale, it has a pH value of 3, which is quite a strong acid. For the lemon juice, it turned light orange, and based on the scale, it has a pH value of 2, so it's a very strong acid. For the baking soda, like the dishwashing liquid, it produces a dark red color, which is unidentified. Next, the red cabbage extracts. Here are the pH values from left to right. For the dishwashing liquid, the color turned dark purple. Based on the scale, it has a pH value of 6 to 7, which is almost neutral. For the bleach, the color turned white. Again, assuming the trend from dark to light colors continues, it would have a pH of 14 or above. So it's a very strong alkaline. For vinegar, the color turned dark pink. Based on the scale, it has a pH value of 5, so it's a weak acid. For the orange juice, it turned dark orange. Based on the scale, it has a pH value of 2, so it's a very strong acid. For the lemon juice, the color turned light pink. Based on the scale, it has a pH value of 4, so it's somewhat a weak acid. And for the baking soda, the color turned dark bluish green. Based on the scale, it has a pH value of 8 until 9, which is a weak alkaline. Now, from this table, I can conclude that Red cabbage is a more reliable natural indicator, although for some, apples can extract proofs to be more accurate, like vinegar, orange juice, and lemon juice. But when added bleach and baking soda to the apples can extract, the pH value is unidentified. Now, for the very last part, let me conclude my video. First, red cabbages and apple skin contain anthocyanin, a pigment which allows them to act as pH indicators. Second, red cabbage proves to be a better natural indicator as when dishwashing liquid and baking soda are added to the apple skin extract, the colors produced made the pH values unidentified. That's all for my video. Thank you for listening. I do hope this video would prove to be educational for everyone watching and have a great day.